Good afternoon, church family. I hope you are doing awesome on this beautiful Wednesday, sunny, beautiful, warm Wednesday. It feels like spring. We're hoping it's spring. Uh, I've got a quick midweek for you today. Just a couple quick updates. Uh, the first is I just want, oh, what, what do we have here? Chili cook-off champion. Well, that reminds me, we had our chili cook-off this past Sunday, and um, I don't want to be a jerk about it. It was fun to, uh, to be a part of it, and I wanted to thank um, our nurture team, the teens who are going on the DC trip who helped out, everybody who made a soup or a chili, everybody who did anything for a part of it. It was a tremendously huge success. Um, it was really well organized. We had so many people down in the fellowship hall that, I don't know, it was very... It felt great to be together again in that way, right? And so um, I wanted to thank Mary Rideout and her team, the Nurture team, for organizing all that so well. Um, thank you to everybody who donated to the Chili Cook-Off that was going toward uh, helping our kids get to Washington, D.C. on their mission trip in July. We raised over $900 in one day. So praise God for that. That was tremendous. Super thankful for that. Thank you for your generosity. That was Probably, I think, way more than anybody expected. God is good. God provides. We're going to talk more about that in upcoming sermons, which I'm excited about. My cup overflows. And so really good stuff happening. Uh, so that was a great day, blessed day. Uh, congratulations to Scott McAllister, who won alongside this guy. Uh, I won't talk about it anymore. Uh, Karen and Justin in the office are already sick of how much I'm talking about that I won the chili cook-off. But I figure I got a couple days to gloat about it, right? All right, enough of that for now. Uh, we are um, continuing our Psalm 23 series. I hope that you have had a chance to uh, follow up with the challenge I gave to be memorizing and meditating on Psalm 23. I kind of gave some uh, pretty practical tools to use in order to make that happen. Uh, those will be explicitly listed. The, the slides I used on Sunday are going to be in the midweek minute. So if you wanted a reminder of uh, really what I am encouraging everybody to do, uh, please take a look at that. So that's going to be continuing this week uh, throughout the Lenten season until we get to Palm Sunday, which is going to be coming up sooner than we think. Um, lastly, we have a sort of not a new addition to the church, but somebody uh, really generously gave a donation to redo the flooring in the front entryway of the church. And so um, thank you to, I don't know who it was, it was an anonymous donation. Thank you to whoever that was. Um, really, really great. It is being installed right now. So when you get in church on Sunday, you will see beautiful, updated new flooring and new um, stairway, what's the word I'm looking for? Stairway flooring, stairway, um, I'm, I'm missing the words, but the stairways are being done as well. Stairway covers. Oh, I will remember the word as soon as I'm done filming this, but the stairs going down to uh, the fellowship hall will be new. The stairs going up to the narthex will be new. So um, just to give you a heads up about that, it looks really nice. So um, I'm thankful for that. Um, other than those things, um, I think that is pretty much it. We had a really good ad council meeting this past Monday. Thank you to all our leaders for being a part of that. Really good discussion about where we're going as a church, about immediate calendar stuff, but also sort of where God is calling us to be as a church. Some good, some somewhat tough conversation about our denomination. Uh, you'll be hearing more and more about that uh, in the upcoming you know, weeks and months. But um, overall, things are here are really encouraging. And like I've been saying in messages and like people shared on Membership Sunday, I think God is preparing us for something really big in the immediate future, that he is working through our ministries, that, he, that new life is being grown here. And I'm super thankful for just the working of the Holy Spirit, for God's blessings on our church, and excited to see where he leads us next. So um, yeah, that is it for today. Enjoy the beautiful day and the warmer weather, and hopefully we will see you Sunday, uh, uh, 830 service, 1030 service. And yeah, if you have any questions or prayer requests or praises, feel free to call. Have a good week.